mature conversation. So if you get the little kids, maybe put them uh, maybe out in the backyard to play for a little bit. So we have Dr. Erwin Goldstein from San Diego Sexual Medicine, Alvarado Hospital. Hey, Chrissy, how are you? Just back. Hi, good to see you. Thank you for being here again. Thank uh, you just so back much. from Washington, D.C., you were on a special panel with, uh, with taking a stand uh, for the uh, for women. For women, yes. For women. This was historic. This is fabulous. What uh, happened? So. In 1992, the government did a uh, thing at the NIH for erectile dysfunction. And that was the first government recognition of a male sexual dysfunction. 1992? That's a few days ago. Uh, it's 1992. 92, yeah. That was the first time. But in 2014, for the first time ever, the government, through the FDA, did the first ever public forum on female sexual dysfunction. It was amazing. And you were one of the main doctors. So, so the second day they had a panel, and I was one of the invited panelists by the FDA, but we had San Diego patients, even some who have been on this TV show, with me on the first day, which was the patients discussing the problem with their sexual function. The whole idea, Dr. Goldstein uh, took a stand for women who have low sex drive. So, first of all, what is low sex drive? How do you know you have it? And what is, what if anything is there to treat it at this point? So, the typical woman with low sexual interest um, is someone who's actually had it in the past. So, they know what it's like. It's, it's wanting to want to do something. Um, wanting to want. Yeah, so oh, wanting oh, to want to okay. be sexually active. Okay. Uh, as opposed to being responsive to the partner and sort of saying, okay, it's my duty and, and I'm, you know, okay. The usual response of women who have this low interest and are in a relationship and want to maintain the relationship is they sort of avo they, they create avoidance behaviors. They, they sort of go to sleep early or they go to sleep after him or they wake up early or they, okay. they do things to avoid. And it's, Without, it's very with, unhealthy to the well, relationship. Sure, and maybe to the person, you right. know, individually. So, what, you know, without getting into um, too many of the details, is there anything to treat that now for women? And is there anything down the line that you can see that may be happening? So it's an unmet need. Uh, uh, there's 12% of women in epidemiologic studies will say they have this condition of I have low oh, interest wow. and they're bothered by it. Mm. There's a lot more who have it and are less bothered by it, but oh. the ones who are moderately to severely bothered by it are 12%. That's like 15 million American wow. women. They have many drugs for men. They have drugs for men with curved erections. They have, men with, they have drugs for men with erectile dysfunction. They have many of them. They have, uh, uh, they, they have drugs for men who aren't interested. But like nothing for women. Nothing for women. Did you say that Viagra was okayed in six months? Six I thought these things months. took 20 years with the FDA. Six months. And six months? Just a few thousand patients, okay? I'm in and, shock. and with six months, sa with a year safety data. So they have drugs in huh. the pipeline to be approved by the FDA out of 11,000 women in this study. Mm. They still won't approve them. What it's is the problem? They're gender biased, it's very obvious. And, and they claim they're not, but the evidence doesn't support that they're Thank not. Thank you for taking a stand for women. Oh, it's my honor what's to the take next, this What's step. the next move? You so, got a clinical so trial going? So at San Diego going? Sexual Medicine, we have a huge clinical trial going. Uh, it's Just starting? 500 women, we're, we're recruiting now. For okay, so okay. anyone out there in TV land, has this condition of low sexual interest. You have to be before your menopause, so it's premenopausal okay. women. Okay. Oh, you before. Oh. Yeah, premenopausal women. Okay. Um, and um, you contact our office. Uh, it, it, the study is a six-month trial, but if you're approved to be in the trial, it's a double-blind placebo-controlled, so you could get a sugar pill. But the the, 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 the catch that we're trying to that's impress a that's a high is the study. last six months, because it's a year-long study is with open labels so you're guaranteed the drug so that's a huge concept this is a drug you what actually drug? inject into the what skin. is it it's is called it? brie melanotide uh -huh. so what is that? it's called a melanocortin that's its class is it a protein it, it well it, it, it's protein but what it does it acts on the brain to dramatically increase the chemical called dopamine you, you mean the depression happiness this is the happiness one. Really? It's fabulous drug. Oh my gosh. Well, we, it we've done the phase two trials already, and, and they're very find? positive. Really? Yeah, it's amazing. How drug. much so? What did you find out? Well, it's an amazing drug. It, it lasts for four to six hours, and you're 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 beside yourself. <laughs> I, have to tell you. it's I love amazing. what you do, man. It's great. <laughs> it, it's really cool. So how do people, I mean, you, so you give yourself an injection once a day or just whenever or you feel like? Prior to, prior to whenever your you want agreed to want. upon event, when you oh. want to want. Yeah. Oh, And then you want to want very, very well. And uh, it could be that you don't have to inject forever. It could be that you learn this behavior. Oh, I see. What else? So, what else? So I have a patient that I just want to share with you. It's okay. a fabulous success story. And I brought up some tools with me. Okay. I'm going to make this really <laughs> quick. Paper cups. So here's the <laughs> testosterone, has the tea. 
and testosterone acts on an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. So the enzyme attaches to it, and it turns into this form of testosterone called dihydrotestosterone. Oh, right, uh-huh. So we had a woman come in with lifelong low sexual interest, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, she sees our sex therapist, our physical therapist, and myself in That's our coordinated approach. That's a lot of there work. four hours visits in our office. But the, the bottom line was we gave her testosterone for her treatment, and it didn't work. Um, and then we recorded the value of this dihydrotestosterone, yeah. and it didn't increase. So she had missing enzyme. Yeah. <laughs> it's a genetic uh, biologic issue. Oh, so geez. in Europe, in Europe, you can get dihydrotestosterone. It's a, it's a drug made in Cyprus. So and you we got quit, the but drug. Can you get it here? Is, is well, we we got the drug for her. She administered it. She came back in three months, and all her sexual problems went away. She Dr. was now Goldstein. wanting to want. This was a fabulous Man, it's people like you that make this world go round. You make people happy. <laughs> well, <laughs> well <laughs> you're doing this is really appreciated. Uh, it's my it's not pleasure. not everyone who wants to talk about this subject. Oh, I love it. I think it's great. I mean, it's, 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 it's such a great thing. Thank you for taking a stand for women. I mean, it's something that I well, think... Thank you for putting this quite a bit. on. Dr. Erwin Goldstein, if you want to be a part of this study, double-blind, placebo-controlled, which is Free a higher melanotide. end. That's a, that's a, when you're at that level of research, like that's a, you're, there, he's getting to the higher level of, of getting this accomplished. So contact your office Please. or just go to our website, fox5sandiego.com and click on the scene on button. Thank that you. wraps it up for us. Erica, back over to you. All right, thank you.